November 30th, 2013, the Berkeley campus. So I'm kind of thinking big intellectually. Just past the biochemistry building, there's a Bancroft library, and I guess there's a pine cone on top of it. Some information I got from a very bright young man. And of truth, we learned the Berkeley campus for the first time ever. I think last time I was here was 1970, so it's been a while. Oops. Yes! Got a professional film crew here on the iPhone. It's nice to be here. Got to go back to Utah, but I love California. And so ISON, there's all kinds of views on ISON. So the thing right now, once again, is the gift of discernment. What's yes, what's true? From what I understand at this point in time, oh my gosh, I can see the Golden Gate Bridge in the fog out there. How beautiful. Look at that. Man. It's beautiful here. Nature and then man's accomplishments and sciences. But ISON survived perihelion to the best of my information. Uh, knowledge. Can't wait to get on fast internet and take in BP Earthwatch, take in everything. How uh, the dearth of information coming from NASA and make my own prognostications. At this point in time, I think we'll be going through the tail in January and it'll be visible right now. So I can't wait to see it in the morning. So maybe driving across the Nevada desert or uh, in Utah on a mountaintop, I'll be able to get a really good view. But uh, no matter where you're at, whether people say it doesn't exist or it exists, from my take, there's no question it exists. The question is, what effect will it have on Earth in the next 60 days? And, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll mention Harvard again. But at Harvard, one thing I learned there, well, probably the best thing, it's not having the answers or all the answers. It's asking the right questions. And so about ISON, I think the deal is to ask the right questions. So... Ask the right questions about ISON. Rock on. Ciao.